Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, we haven't been there before, you bitch. Hey. He's oh oh this is I think uh Norridge. That's Norridge right there. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, so Jesus fuck. So he's like, well, with that said, this is the current situation in Britain up till now. Did you understand already yet? Huh? So you went around the entire Britain in two days? Even though you're this small? Well, yeah. あ、年末新興祭可愛く思える every year were uh yeah, tight schedule uh yeah. Every year the last year's tight schedule looks cute. <laughs> I hope you understand that. Nice uh nice little um homage there. That's a that's a shot fired to uh <laughs> that's shots fired to the viewers and the readers, right? People who wants to, people who want more content from FGO. So it's it's essentially saying that every day, the every day the tight schedule we had beforehand just looks cuter and cuter. It says I don't understand, whatsoever. All you showed us is just a picture of a snapshot that you were uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't understand what was going on. You only showed us pictures and snapshots. That's it. Can you explain to us more in details and in specific? All I heard was peaceful, peaceful, dangerous, peaceful, non-existent. Oh, pfft. Oh, went to bed. Hey! Don't go to bed! Wake up! <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Sorry. Whenever I... Uh, yeah, whenever I'm in my scout... Uh, yeah, when my styles are scouting, my intelligence also falls down to a decent degree. Well... <clears throat> If I want to vaguely report, Grostar in Salisbury has no movements that are noteworthy. At the same time, apparently the Camelot and uh, yeah, Camelot and her queen has prepared uh, yeah, prepared something very interesting. Magical, uh, yeah, magical. Uh, prepared something interesting. A big, a big scheme that involves a lot of magical energy is the rumor. Knowledge is said that in a couple of days, the, cla uh, the clump of calamity will uh, destroy that place, is the, uh, yeah, is the topic of the day, and the north district nearby the Camelot Sheffield is, well, I couldn't get any information out of it. After all, there was nobody there. Wait. But why are we going to knowledge? I thought you said uh, knowledge was too early for us. Uh, the only reason why I say that is because the time has ripe or the time has come. That's all I can really say, my honest opinion. Because now, Protag and Da Vinci, you really want to save Britain and you're actually serious about it now instead of looking for your friend. And now, Artoria, for the first time, has found a reliable ally that she can actually count on. At the same time, we've obtained Muramasa as a strong force. To be perfectly honest, I would love to have more, quote-unquote, uh, you know, I would love to have more battle or more strength under our arms before we go, but I don't think we can, yeah, I don't think we can scrounge up any more than we can at this moment. After all, 
Times now is yeah, time of the essence and time is not on our side. In order to save knowledge and head to Norwich, I believe this is our last chance. It says, are you really certain? Is there another reason why for, uh, yeah, for you to push us the knowledge? It says, whenever we talked about Sheffield, you were hesitant and it was, yeah, it, it was almost like you weren't yourself and didn't want to talk about it. Nope. There's nothing. None. I'm not talking about it. I really thought that if we go to Shaysfield, I thought I could ask a, a very reliable old friend of my, yeah, old friend, uh, yeah, really reliable old friend of ours back then. That's what I thought, but... Uh, to be perfectly honest, we got here just to take a quick rest, did we not? Like I've told you before, it is not good to stay still for too long, especially us. We are a constant wanted creatures around this island, or you know, this world. It says, well, if we can make a home base, uh, yeah, if we can make a home base or... Uh, yeah, if we can make a home base or something very nice to keep us at sa uh, a safe house or so, uh, it would be good. But unfortunately, my forest isn't aptitude for that whatsoever. Uh, it says, yeah, if we were to get assaulted, it won't take a day for this entire place to get burned down. That's why we gotta go shay... Uh... Sorry, I slipped up a little bit there. <clears throat> now Sheffield's not worth. Oh yeah, we can't rely on Sheffield anyway. And now we need to find friends more than ever than before. And besides, I'm always going to recommend going to Nolan. It says, "Isn't that right, Protag? Your wordings." Uh, yeah, your wordings and your determination of declaration, I've heard it loud and clear. You already know what the prophecy child Artoria lacks. And that is the confidence in herself and aka results and uh, yeah, results and um, uh, her um, yeah, results and her record. Exactly. As a savior, you definitely need that record or approve, approvement that says she was able to save a town. That's an important factor. I see. So if Queen Morgan, uh, yeah, even if you were to, if, even if you were able to get, if you were able to get rid of the calamity, that even Queen Morgan would avoid or ignore. The rumored prophecy girl will become a reality. And there will be nobody else in the uh, yeah, in this place would doubt Artoria as the prophecy child. Um, but, um, can we really, uh, get rid of this clump of calamity with the current eye? <laughs> You can do it, no problem, I tell you. If you got some guts, if you got, if you're gonna show some of that guts, what you showed in that auction, you can practically pull anything off. And worst case scenario, oh uh, yeah, worst case scenario, it's gonna be a crash course, a uh, yeah, crash course learning style. I'll pick up your bones if you so fail. It says, when it comes to glass cannon, that's the best part. Oh, yeah, that's the best part when it comes to glass cannons. Ain't that right, Protag? Uh, it says, uh... Yeah, it says, yeah, if we have momentum, we can pull this off. At the same time, uh, it'll be serious, right? It'll be in serious uh, aptitude from here on out. Uh, after you crumble, that's when the real, uh, real fight begins. It says, hey, 
I, I'm super delicate, you know? I'm not gonna be just crashing in and falling apart. That's right. Zia. Oh? What up, girl? Is that Geddes? Yeah, what up, Gareth? Gareth! Yay! Speaking of glass cannon, there's Gareth. It says, uh, yeah, Miss Artoria is all about courage, uh, courage, momentum, and charging strength. She's like a person that has, uh, yeah, the. <laughs> She's like a person that's always charging, always has a presence of a bear. I'm pretty sure you'll definitely do something. And for certain, you'll pull something off in knowledge. For sure. So let's go. Uh, right now. At this very moment. Our objective is knowledge. The Calamity Town. Or the Town of Calamity. With our strength together. With, uh, yeah, with our strength together, we can save Britain. Who are you? Oh. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gareth. Uh, <laughs> uh, it says, yeah, I'm the spineless, uh, yeah, I'm the spineless, uh, uh, I'm the spineless, uh, I'm the spineless, uh, I'm the spineless amateur knight, Gareth, that will be following Miss Artoria in her scheduled program. Oh, what up, girl? Who? Right. It says, here you go. Here you go. Lunchtime, lunchtime. Oh. Thank you for the food once again. Nom, 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 It says, thank you for the delicious fruit that you keep giving me every day. This forest is a wonderful place to be in. It says, um, excuse me. Can we get back to the topic just a little bit? Rewind. So what you're saying is, is that you're, yes, I was following you all the way from Growstar. Oh, mega lol. We had a stalker on our tail this whole time. Hold up. <laughs> well, to be perfectly honest, I started following you guys ever since that auction uh, commodity ordeal. Even though it is uh, against Scary Tristan, even though that person is a fairy. Uh, <laughs> the, the violent yet straightforward, honest verbal, uh, yeah, verbal violence and against magic, uh, yeah, against the competition of magic, you are just like, psh and psh. It's just like 16 years I've only eaten veg oh uh, yeah, 16 years I've only eaten veggies and go back to uh, yeah, go back to uh uh yeah, go back to the beginner's hands and trick class. <laughs> so if you don't know those things that uh Gareth is talking about. Gareth is talking <laughs> Gareth is talking about where Artori is like, hey! I haven't, yeah, I've been eating 16 years of vegetables. Uh, uh, yeah, that ain't gonna be for nothing. Uh, and then she said another word, says, uh, come back to me after you're done. Um, after you, uh, yeah, why don't you go back to um, basic magic trick course? It says, oh my God. It says, now that I think about it, those words are quite encouraging and verbally strong. Oh, yeah, verbally strong and almost to borderline abusive. But at the same time, I've understood that I know that Miss Artoria is the person I need to work for. Of course, I've seen the other, uh, yeah, other amazing works that you've done. Uh, on this journey up to now until now that miss artoria you would go and help out anybody who is in trouble no matter how shady they may be 
says, I've never seen anybody uh, trust fairy to that degree in all Britain. I don't really know anything about this uh, prophecy of Ainsetter or, you know, yeah, prophecy and prediction or the uh, wordings of Ainsetter or the quote-unquote the rumor of the town. I really don't care or know any of this. But all I know is that, Miss Artoria, you have the ability... Uh, yeah, you have the ability and the fate to save Britain. That's what I feel like and that's what I will follow. So please, if you can, add me to your ranks. I will be of use. Oh, interesting. So this Gareth is technically a fairy Gareth. Ah. Well, then that makes a lot more sense. So this is a fairy Gareth. It says, uh, I've been following you from town to town from here on out. I'm only merely a lesser spirit, a.k.a. lesser fairy. But I, Gareth, will definitely be useful to you. I bet I will. Um, well, what should I do, everyone? It, it seems that she thinks that I'm like some sort of an amazing fairy and... If she starts calling me like master or you know her lord it's it's a little bit problematic to say hey, um artoria you're saying you're problematic but you're grinning hella hard and smiling uh isn't gareth a uh really wait 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 just hold on please don't look i gotta take a deep breather deep breath deep breath don't get excited <laughs> Castoria is just like while, while she's saying that like uh, I don't know about that but she has like the biggest smile on her face <laughs> I got one thing to ask then why do you want to be uh, Artoria's warrior or uh, yeah, Artoria's follower you don't care or don't know anything about the prophecy of Ainsel uh, or you know the words spoken by Ainsetter and the rumor of the uh, yeah, rumor of the town and the world. And why are you? It means that you're not believing in this prophecy child. Uh, yeah, prophecy child whole spiel. And if that's the case, isn't uh, yeah? Is there no reason for you to uh, follow and guard Arporia uh, if there is no reason for you to do so? Oh well, yes, technically. It's just to be perfectly honest, even up till now, I'm just a spineless fool. Uh, you know, a uh, spineless coward fool. I don't really know what type of fairy I am. I don't know who I am in the first place. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a tribe of the wind, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not tribe of the wind, not on earth, not on fangs. Specifically, I don't really know if I am in one of the, uh, tribes in general. Maybe she lost her memory again at the forest. Damn, everybody and their mom went to the forest at one point, huh? But whenever I was born from the bottom of my heart, I had an objective in my heart, uh, in my, uh, in, uh, tucked away in my heart. This time, I really want to protect everyone. Uh, yeah, this time I really want to protect everyone. This time I want to be the fairy that I want to fight properly. Uh, I wanted to protect everyone that was in pain. I think that was my uh, objective or my, you know, reason of living. But then again, if you look at me, I'm not that strong. And all I can do is uh, withstand or um, 
that would stand or uh, handle pressure. It says, I've been doing my very best having these metal weapons and defeating mosses here and there. This is when that time, yeah, and while I was doing that, and when I saw the fairy knight, uh, that was under the Empress Morgan, aka the Queen, right, under the Queen, when I saw them from far away, I, I, I remembered from the bottom of my heart that I wanted to be a knight just like them. I wanted to be a knight that wants to protect everything and everyone. I want to be someone who can be, um, I want to be someone who can be of strength and can help out the king in my own way. But right after, yeah, right afterwards, I heard that uh, Empress Morgan is a bad king, a yeah, bad ruler. And all I, yeah, all I heard too was that the fairy knights are nothing more than a tool to defeat Moss. And when I learned about that, um, my dream, my desire, I sincerely thought that it will not, uh, yeah, I sincerely thought that it will not happen in this current Britain. But! Uh, it says, I heard that, yeah, I heard that in the auction, there was a fairy that could save Britain. And when I heard about that, I pushed myself into the, uh, I pushed myself into the auction house as forcefully as I can. And when I did, I was able to beat you, Miss Artoria, a fateful encounter, some would say. And then with that, I want to make my dream come true as the knight that can serve to make, uh, yeah, that can serve and help you. Well, technically it hasn't been granted, but... Uh, yeah, my heart and my conviction was all ready to go for that, but, um, well, I guess that's the end of explanation. Yes. Uh, I hope you guys, yeah, I hope you all understand why now I want to, uh, yeah, work for Miss Artoria. Hmm, I see. Then if that's the case, it can't be helped that she explained herself well. I thought she was going to be some sort of Morgan spy, and I was very suspicious. But, <laughs> I never thought, yeah, I'll never think that a spy would be this clumsy or this awkward. And, uh, yeah, it seems like Artoria and Protag are in an agreement to take you in in the first place. Of course, I'm all in it for it, too. After all, any more strength or anybody, uh, yeah, any help. Anybody that is willing to help is more than welcome at our current situation. It says to be perfectly honest, you said you're a fairy that don't, uh, yeah. You said you were a fairy that didn't know what you wanted to do, right? Or what it's supposed to do. We've already solved that problem. Because after all, you're going to be, uh, yeah, you're going to be a knight in training you're going to be the first, um, essentially, vassal, I guess. Uh, essentially, yeah, you're going to be the first person that's going to be working under Artoria. That's cool. So Gareth became the first, uh, first person to work under directly to, uh, Gareth, uh, Artoria, excuse me. Uh, I get, I call it vassal, but I guess in English, it'll be called retainer, right? Because remember how MASH is translated as a retainer? So yeah, it says uh, you're probably going to be our first Artoria's retainer. You're going to be the uh, knight in training, Gareth. That's your new title now. Oh, wow. Dude, she's 